Yeah. Yer. 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 What's good? What's good? This Dutchie Monroe coming at y'all with another video. Oh. Either way, y'all can like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Stick with me. Stay on my channel because I like y'all and I hope y'all like me too. I like seeing y'all. Even though I don't see y'all, y'all see me. But you know what I mean. This is the continue of the favorites. We did the shampoo. Now it's time to condition. It's time to put the moisture in, put that something in, the protein, moisture, whatever you got to do. Put it in there, put it in there somehow, some way. You got to detangle, condition before or after. This is the conditioning. This is the deep conditioning. We got the condition. That's it. This is the conditioning. That's it. Condition yourselves, okay? We're going to start with the regular conditioners because I use that sometimes as a pre-pool before the shampoo, of course, the pre-pool. And I either could use it after the shampoo when the shampoo just ain't doing me enough justice. We got about eight products, another eight, because I'm going to try to stick to no more than 10. This is the shampoo and the conditioner combo that I started doing the whole let me see if I could condition and pre-pool and get the, the, tangle, the tangles out before I have to shampoo, make my life easier. This conditioner is almost gone. There's literally this much in here left. Legit. Texture ID, I love you guys for this. Three times moisture cream is definitely moisturizing. I can tell you that much. There's been some dry wash days where I start and my hair is a mess this right here saved the day a couple of times i, I mess with y'all on this conditioner however i don't really need it i've used it more than i've used the shampoo because i've also used it as a co-wash and surprisingly so this is a versatile one where you could use it as a co-wash or a leave-in. Next conditioner I'm going to go with is also another one that's almost empty. <sighs> and as I explained my love for this brand in the last video for the shampoos, I'm going to explain it again. This right here is a hair strengthener and moisturizer and I believe in it. I believe in this conditioner. I believe in it such so much so that I don't want to let this little bit go until I find some more of this product, which I can't target. But this conditioner, black castor oil, red pimento oil, it's the business. It moisturizes, detoxifies scalp, manageability. It, it does it all. It really works. It detangles it. Whatever it says it does on this product bottle does it. It does. I, I could use this for sure. I'm definitely trying to find some more of this stuff because I love it. I don't, I don't even know if they have anything to style, but this product right here, the shampoo and conditioner is all I found and that's all I used and I fell in love with it and I need it and I need it. I need it. It's cheap too. I don't think the price is even on here anymore, but it was, I bet I'm pretty sure it was under $10. The main choice going back to my four C for the four leaf clover girls, for them lucky ones that get the blessing of the lucky hair. The conditioner, I've barely used. I have more conditioner than I do shampoo. But this stuff, whenever I feel like the shampoo ain't working out for me right now. And sometimes my hair does that. And this stuff right here, I've been using for a while. And I love it. But for some reason, if the shampoo doesn't work for me, I throw this stuff in before I detangle. I mean, before I deep condition. And it's magical like butter okay i don't need to worry about the deep, deep condition after that because this stuff is already working on it for me the manageability my holy grail this i should have put first 
because this is really a 99 cent store. <laughs> this is what you go to when you don't feel like living life. <laughs> when you're like, yo, my head really needs some love, but I don't feel like going hours on and loving it. I only got 10 minutes for you, boo, tonight. Just 10 minutes. This right here, you can use as a co-wash. Use as a conditioner. Use as a pre-poo. You could just use this for anything. It suds up when we use a little bit of it and put a lot of water. It suds up like a shampoo. This was probably the first co-wash ever made, and nobody even realized it because it's so cheap. It's only a dollar and change. It's a ninety-nine cent store product. They have came out with new ones that I want to try. But it's like I brought 10 of these off of Walmart because it was only literally a dollar flat and I went ham and I haven't needed to buy one in about four years because I had 10 of them and I don't need to even use that much of this. The smells I right. It's a cheap smell. It's a cheap product smell. It smells like Dove or something. It's a cheap product smell, but it works and nobody even talks about this. This works for 4C girls. Just put this in your hair to do whatever you need to. Detangle, for sure. Slip, butter. It will detangle the shit out of your hair. Use it. Sis, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Believe in this. Believe in me when I say believe in this. That's how serious I stand behind this VO5. We're going we're gonna to talk about Maui Moisture because I've been hearing some bad things about Maui Moisture and about animal testing or something like that. When, oh, it doesn't say is one of my favorites and I barely used it, which is crazy. I literally barely used it. I like that it's in a nutcracker bottle first off. And it's really good. I like this one because I just... For some reason, when I just don't, this is like another VO5 kind of thing. When I don't feel like doing my hair, I go for this. Don't use it to co-wash, but I use it to detangle and get me out and in real quick. I liked it because there was aloe juice in here. But however, I've heard that they do animal testing or whatever, and this is really not what it said to be. So I'm a little disappointed in even bringing this up. I use it to dye my hair. Deep conditioner days, the Aussie Moist, the Aussie Miracle Smooth. Either one is perfect. This actually gets my frizz gone, gone. The Smooth is better than the Moist to me, I'm sorry. Cause they both moisturize. Cause everything in the conditioners is moist and it leaves your hair dripping and silky and slip, okay? It's $3, 3 $4, don't, depending on where you buy it from. Don't know how y'all got it to do it for the culture, but y'all do it for the culture and I like it. It's a product empty. The whole product line is good. It's good. CGIN is good. I've only used the conditioners, but I'm pretty sure as long as it's moisture rising and honey in it, it's a definite win for me. I don't even care if I haven't used it. It's a win. I, I will claim it. I will claim it now. I'm going to claim it in the name of Jesus. I'm going claim I've it. I've been purchasing this for a little. This is another starter. Started from the bottom while we here. And it's literally, ooh, it smells so good. That's this. I've used to save my life in some, some tough days. Some tough days. This will be another VO5 type of thing where I could just use this and go. For real. This. I'm telling you, some of these conditioners... Just try using them. They will work miracles. You can literally just leave it in your hair sometimes and be just like that. And I'm telling you, you can go and smell good and your hair will look good and it won't leave no sticky feel. It won't leave no residue. It won't leave no flakes. I'm telling you, some of these conditioners you could use as a leave-in conditioner. I've done it. One, two, and what other did I use as a leave-in conditioner? I don't want to lie, but I've left this in my hair long enough. These three, leave-in, conditioner worthy. So we're going to quickly jump right into the deep conditioning in the same breath in the same video. Carol's daughter, the cocoa creme. Curl quenching. When I say that shampoo did it, 
it is moisture proof it is moisture it's moisture 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 at its best this is for curls this is for curls and i'm telling you it goes from into the wash process to the styling process this is for curls whenever you're feeling dry with my main choice Yo, this whole line is the truth all the way down to the edge control all the way down to the edge control this whole line is the truth okay like it's a small amount so so isn't it it's not really it's not worth it by the the price to be such a small amount in there but i'm trying to make it last because it's worth it and it smells divine too oh my god this is eight ounces of deep conditioner who you think i am houdini i can't make a bunny pop out of a hat stop playing Ugh. when i need protein when I want to be lazy, I really like the what it, what it does to my hair. I don't like the way it smells at all. It stinks. Um, I don't care for the smell, but it does its job. It, def it definitely strengthens a little bit. It does. But when I really need a protein treatment, I need to go ahead and do a protein treatment and stop bullshitting myself because that's how I got to where I'm at in the first place wearing this wig. I got two products from Shea Moisture. I don't know which one is my most favorite of, of the two. I would say this, high, high porosity. And you're gonna probably look at me like shorty, you're not high porosity. But then again, I said in the beginning, I don't claim them labels because when I dye my hair, sometimes I'm high porosity, sometimes I'm low porosity, sometimes I'm jacked up and you don't even know what's going on and you need this. Because this right here will clump my hair, get rid of frizz, moisturize, bring back the life. I'm telling you, I've never went wrong with this. I hated the shampoo. Hated hated the shampoo but this deep conditioner I, I didn't even want to get rid of it i haven't wanted to use it again i don't want to get rid of this i don't want to let it go the <clears throat> manuka honey and mafura oil intensive hydration hair mask i will never get rid of this to be runner up with my next one to be talked about which is a product empty a complete empty tgin honey miracle i don't know which one is better the manuka honey or the hair honey miracle they could be fighting and i don't know who will win it would be the best fight ever it would be a holy ooh, whew, holy grail to use them both together like just mix half and half one half of the hair other half or just put them together i'm going to experiment with these two because i'm telling you you could never go wrong with these two. You need help. You need to just easy wash day. You've been struggling. Your detangle process is just, oh my God, Lord Jesus. Use either one of these. Equally my favorite. And I don't care. I don't care. Both of them are like butter, like silk, like baby soft skin. Honestly, this one wasn't even going to make it. I don't even know why I'm talking about it really. I'm disappointed with the whole product line. You could be using the same product for a whole year, right? Or a couple of months or whatever. And then somehow one day you wake up, go to sleep, wake up again, go to wash your hair and you use these products that you've been using for such a long time and you've been counting on them and they've been making it happen every time, every wash day. And then that one time, that one day, they just stop working. Maybe the expiration on this really works because they just it doesn't work the same no more. And I don't like it. I don't mess with this product anymore and I don't care for it. And it's an under $10 product. And I love all of the product. I loved all of the products, but some of them started flaking. Some of them started doing nothing for me. I would go to detangle my hair and it would be like nothing ever happened. Like what happened, sis? Y'all was working before. 
Did y'all expire and I didn't notice? Should I stop using you? Should I just throw you out? Because honestly, you're halfway done and now you don't do nothing for me. So I don't even bother to use you. I'm going to just throw this out. Either way, it's up there because it was, it used to, it did before. Previous to whatever happened to it, it did work on Jackie's on Jackie's in control. I'm not in control no more. We we more like out of control. It needs to be in control of being thrown in the garbage cause it don't work no more. And it smells really good. It does. Damn, that smells good. I feel like one day it will come back. Just one day it will start working again. And I don't know, it may happen, it may not, <laughs> who knows? I am just gonna keep it cause I spent money on it, you know? like. This actually has a little 24 month little jar thing. That's it for my, my conditioning. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't even want to talk no more. I've been thinking too hard and I'm ready to go get high. I hope y'all enjoyed this. So my next video should be the leave-ins because that's what we go to next. And sometimes I do them outside the shower. Sometimes I do them inside the shower. So we're going to go into the next step in the next video. Later.